I'm Ariel Adams. I love watches. Just go crazy. I wear. That's incredible. I wonder. Tell me about the watch you're wearing. I write. I really don't have to explain to you what you saw. I travel a world chasing my dream and chasing time. Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's big, really, really big. You could fit Yankee Stadium, the Rose Bowl, Churchill Downs, the Coliseum, and Vatican City inside the track. Once a year, it's home to the greatest spectacle of racing, the Indy 500. This is my first Indy 500. A race and an event this watch guy knows nothing about. I can't wait to stare at these cars go in circles for about two hours straight. This weekend, I'm a guest of the official timekeeper, Tag Heuer. Watches. A watch company with a long history of bringing watches and cars together. This trip should help me understand Tag Heuer's unique relationship with Indy 500. Joining me is Todd, the lucky bastard who won our Tag Heuer Indy 500 watch giveaway. Apparently, Todd also dresses like an Indy car driver. Yes, sir. Can I get a picture with you and my son? Me? Yeah. I think, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not a celebrity of anything. Oh, no? No. In addition to autograph requests, he's also getting a free watch. Only the finest packaging for you. That's beautiful. The caliber five, huh? That is Because it's got watch. just enough edginess to say he's not a dress watch guy, but he knows when he has to wear a dress watch. <laughs> it's Saturday morning before the Indy 500 race. This is American history. It's a nice car. Thank you. Nice watch. Thank you. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm a fish out of water. What's your favorite car? What's your dream car? I basically want a really nice and really fast, like, flying living room. <laughs> and a race car. I want to ride in a race car. I need the open wind on my face going 200 miles an hour. Unfortunately, we're going to be hot lapping in an Impala. Hey, man, how's it going? See you. Yeah. Ready? Just go crazy. No, no, has anyone ever thrown up on you? No way. Really? I'm close. You come close? Yeah. You haven't really earned your wings as a driver until someone throws up on you. Exactly, right? Well, how close do you want me to get to the wall? As close as you want. Okay. Say when. Me? <laughs> Don't actually touch it. That was pretty awesome. I, 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 he actually went a lot faster than I thought he was going to go yeah. to. And, and look, in the Impala, everything feels a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> it's the night before the race, and it's time to unwind. Plenty of drinks, plenty of watches, and these guys. Watch guy and two-time indie winner Ari Leyendijk, and watch guy and three-time winner Johnny Rutherford. Do you find that a lot of drivers tend to be a little bit accelerated in their appreciation of watches, maybe compared to other people? Newer guys, you'll see them with those big alarm clocks on their wrists, and, and or you'll see chronographs. Have you ever used the tachymeter scale with the chronograph complication? Always. You've used it, really? I've, I've used it a lot when my kid raced. I would just, you know, click it in and then I would get an idea. Okay, this lap is a little bit better. Were you always the watch guy and a car guy? I think I started getting into watches more probably maybe only 10 years ago. Eddie Cheever once gave me a 1991 Tag Heuer watch. Ron Dennis gave all of us 35 drivers a Tag Heuer Carrera. And we got to meet the queen. So you got to meet the queen and get a watch in the same day? Yeah. And I notice now that Tag Heuer has a black one. It's all black, and I'd like to have one of those. And guess who does have one of those? Just for the weekend, before anyone else. This is the Tag Heuer Carrera, Heuer O2T Turbion, AKA the Black Phantom. And even at about $21,000, it's part of a collection that is the most accessibly priced Swiss tourbillon in production. Inside you get the fully in-house made cost chronometer certified Oyer O2T automatic movement. With a chronograph, a skeletonized dial, and 65 hours of power reserve, it's all wrapped in a grade five titanium case that can be fully coated in black. It's race day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Sorry. 350,000 fans have come here for the 100th running of the Indy 500. In one day, these fans will drink over 145,000 gallons of beer and eat enough hot dogs and sausages to circle the track three times. I love the, uh, the Indianapolis uh, dress code. 
very specific kind of a shorts and t-shirt. This is yeah. some crazy Americana right here. It's all about America. Finally, it's race time. There are a lot of people here. They're on the track. They'll have to move. As fun and loud as the race is, it's about time for some sweet, sweet air conditioning in Tag Heuer's luxury suite, where I bumped into Tag Heuer North American president, Killian Mueller. But what is it that today really connects watches and cars? It's much more that Tag Heuer very early on connected with motor racing. Right. In 1960, it started with the timekeeping, obviously, and then Ferrari, McLaren, but you can you find also old Carreras and Octavias, which Tag Heuer did, uh, just for this race here. What for you makes Indy a little bit different? It's, it's, it's somehow it's a party. People come here, to come out to really truly enjoy racing. Right. Racing is key. It's, it's the DNA of the brand. Wearing a watch, especially a race-inspired watch, is the ultimate way of celebrating your love of the sport, your love of performance. As the Tag Heuer brand evolves, one thing remains constant, and that's the brand's connection with racing. Tag Heuer and the Indy 500 work well together because at their core they're about performance and pushing the limit. The connection with the Indy 500 remains sound, it remains solid, and it makes sense. And hopefully, they'll bring me back next year.